Welcome back. We got a weird one for you today. Another another iPod video. It might be because I'm not like super in on the community or anything like that. Like there's not a huge iPod community, at least uh, in relation to like the film photography community. So I don't really know if there's a huge resurgence. I know that these are very popular, at least metrics wise on the internet. These are very hard to come by, unfortunately but I still have a bunch, so I'm gonna work on them because they do make good gifts for people. This is gonna be a very simple video. I have this cover. I'm just going to swoopy swap them. So first what we're gonna do is, I've already separated it here. I've detached the drive. I've detached the control for the battery to the board here, so it like, won't really have any power. And then it's as simple as unscrewing this here. I believe there are six screws. To be honest, I'm not completely sure. I've done this before, obviously, I've, but uh, it's been a while. And yeah, the good thing about iPod stuff, though, is it is outside of the like really in-depth mechanical stuff. Like all of the modding things are pretty easy to handle, so that makes it nice. Oh, that's terrifying. Okay, that's good. Dear God, okay. Yeah, so there are six screws, uh, three on each side. Fortunately, this seems to be a pretty clean one. Other times, uh, these clips are like snapped in half from the body, so that, that does happen, unfortunately. But this seems to be in pretty good shape, which is nice. I will be holding on to this cover then, because I have some that are not in as good of shape. And this should, <coughs> from here just to lift off like such. Now, there's a few things to keep in mind when you're doing this. One, this separates separately from this component here, which is of course the uh, control panel and the center button. The center button's kind of loosey-goosey, so be wary of that. Just kind of try to get that repositioned under here. The board itself is obviously quite exposed, so you want to like, you know, not dig around with that too much if you can help it. I'm of course a professional, so <laughs> just kidding. Also, the screen now is just raw, so be very careful with that. I'm actually going to lightly blow this off. Because whatever dust particles are underneath here will just get trapped uh, against this new screen. So now that I'm kind of in this place, I'm going to remove this. Um, I got this on the internet, as you buy most things. It's pretty cool. I think it was like $30 or something like that. So if you're interested in like, one, getting an iPod, and then two, modding it yourself to like be whatever cool color you want it to be, I would check out eBay for that. There's also like um, iFixit, I think it's called, which has like tools and stuff if you don't know how to get into iPods. but really it's, it's a pretty straightforward process. The other thing too that I would like to know is that I'm going to be taking this apart again shortly because I have a new center wheel that I'm gonna put on here. So I'm not really trying to get it on all that tight, just enough to where it will hold for the time being. But yeah, basically the, the key components are the screws on the side should lift off making sure that the center button is uh, situated properly and then it will clamp back on. Like I said, I do have another uh, front or the uh, center wheel, so I'm gonna be putting that on separately, which means I'm not going to put these, I'll just lay them out in here so I don't lose them because these screws are tiny and uh, I don't know if, I'm usually pretty good at finding screws if I drop them, but I don't think I would be able to find those to be honest. Um, so yeah, now, got a new black iPod Classic, or this is the uh, iPod video, I should say, 5.5 Gen. 
and uh, got a new cover for that if the situation presents itself. Also have this nice little cover for it. So that's pretty much a really quick little video going over that. Um, get like 10 views on this, but hopefully it'll help somebody out there who's watching. So if it did like the video, uh, subscribe to the channel for more seemingly unrelated content. Appreciate the support. I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.